Hey yo, what's up, my brother? Homes here, and welcome back to some more Neo 2 walkthrough, real walkthrough, not playthrough, with my skill build. And yeah, welcome back. Uh, I thought I saw an item right here somewhere. <laughs> yeah, right there. Alright. <clears throat> yep. Welcome back. Today we're going to be taking on the third main mission of the game, the Viper's Sanctum. So here we go. Uh, this is one of the missions that's going to be a little bit more difficult than the ones that we uh, went through. So yeah, well in my opinion this is probably like the first mission that actually provides a challenge. <laughs> so yeah, here we go. Let's talk to a friend. あやかし I like how the person we're trying to rescue is his name's Dosan. Dosan means dad in Japanese. <laughs> and it's kind of funny how that how that's gonna play out in a bit. Snipe that guy. <clears throat> Get this pickle right here. Let's take care of this guy real quick. And don't proceed up anymore. It's just we're just gonna keep it like that. Uh, I'm gonna swing around for that area because that's gonna be the dark ground. And I feel like it's a lot easier if you go at it uh, from the back instead of going straight forward. Uh, over here, there's a guy sitting there. You can snipe him. Probably better if you snipe him. Because uh, otherwise, you come up here, you're gonna trigger that guy, and there's a chance this guy will also see you. There we go, and here is our first Kodama. Just run through these boxes, and here he is. I'm doing this live commentary, just in case you guys are wondering. Alright, you can see that there's a guy patrolling over. He won't come around. He's gonna turn back around in a sec. So once he turns around, I highly recommend you snipe the ninja. And then deal with this guy. Alright, break stamina. He also has the... What do you call it? The burst attack. When he's about to die, he'll run at you, try to grab you, so be careful. But if you keep the pressure on, he won't be able to do that. Next up, we got another guy checking the corpse. Snipe him. His buddy over here. He got guard breaking skills, stamina breaking skills. I'll uh, do that. If you've been following my uh, my skills, my my build, whatever you want to call it, uh, then you know square triangle. All right, the triangle. This this kick right here does um lots of lots of stamina damage. So yeah, it's really good when they're very defensive. Over here, don't go for this pickup yet. Look up. There is a gaki right here, and we can just snipe him in the head, take him out, and then we can snipe this one as well. Reason for that, it's um. If you just walk over, that other one will just drop down and grab you and take out a chunk of health. <laughs> that grab does a lot of freaking damage, let me tell you. And the, the another reason why I sniped this one that was standing right here is because I didn't want to hit him because I don't have enough damage. So once I hit him, he'll just fall over and he won't die. Drop down here. I'm going to piss off the Gaki that's in front of us. That's fine. Fall over. I don't think that's death. No. It's gonna come back around. Oh, 
was trying to grab us. Nope. Nice try, but nope. Well, I highly recommend you take care of all the gakis here first before taking on the Oni. There we go. The reason for that is um, I just don't want to get interrupted while I'm fighting this guy because this guy is kind of annoying. I'm going to wait for him to get up. I mean, wait for him to turn back around and then I'm going to get up and then do a dropping attack on him. Or better yet. Just fight. Counterverse. Watch out when he does that because he can do a follow up. He can do another chop. And that thing does a lot of damage and has a potential to one shot you. I don't know if they nerfed the damage or not, but when the game first released, that thing can just obliterate you. Perfect! Only counter burst does a lot of damage. For these guys, I highly recommend you just be patient. Like, you gotta make sure you know what they're doing, and then you count what the hell is going on with them. Counter first, get a few shots in, back away. Do that again, do that again. Do your burst attack, come on. No, do your burst attack. That's the one. Goodbye. And he's the master of this dark realm. So once you take him out, this whole realm fades away. Pretty cool, yeah? Cool, we got uh, another katana. Oh, it's the same level. Never mind. <laughs> I thought it would have been better. Alright. Never mind. I'm, we're sticking with the old one. Unless we can get a higher level one. No thanks. Let's get back up here. Oh shit. I think these are random. Like, these mimics. <clears throat> it's whistle. Alright, whistle. Cool. Yeah, because when I did like two two runs before this, um, I think they're not pop up here. So I think it's random. Next up, we got a demon hunter. He's just chilling right here. I thought you guys are supposed to be hunting demons, not just chilling by corpses. Easiest way to take them down. Snipe them in the head and run up to them with the... Um, Finishing blow does a lot of damage. Well, the snipe to the head does the most damage. But uh, the finishing blow usually finishes him off. <laughs> or the final blow. I don't know what, you, what it's called. I think it's called final blow. No, I didn't pick up the item. Damn it. Alright. Some arrows, real good. This is like the annoying thing about Neo. Like you, <laughs> you go down and pick up an item. You know, it's just right there, but they don't let you get back up. You gotta like drop down and go all the way around in order to get back up. Like, what the heck, man? There's a Gaki right here. Be careful. Usually, you try to bite you. See? And when you knock it over, it does this paralyzed pool thing. You gotta watch out. Cause uh, if you do it, if it's just him by himself, you know, no problem. But if there's somebody else right there, watch out for those pools. Cause they'll mess you up. All right, soldier. These guys stagger real easy. If you can break their stamina, you can also do a critical hit. What I like to do is just break their stamina and just rinse and repeat the the critical hit. Until, until they die. Easiest way to take them down. And we just got a... We got a gun as well. And since we got our demon mode on our sword. There's gonna be another one right here. So let's just... 
Use that to our advantage. Hello, break your stamina. There we go. And I feel like they have more defense when it comes to uh, the dark realm. Like, if they're in the dark realm, they have more defense. Uh, if they're just in the regular realm, like what I, what I call this just the human realm, uh, they don't have much defense at all. Like, one critical hit, it drops them. So, yeah. There's Gaki right here. Boop. Knocks him over. They only spit the the paralyzed pool when they're in the dark realm. If they're just like right here normally, if you knock them over, they won't spit anything. So, just a little heads up. Uh, we got rifle, so that's gonna be useful. Right here, it's gonna be useful in a bit. There's gonna be an upcoming part where the rifle comes in real handy, makes our life a lot easier. All right, now we're gonna be descending into this cave area. This is where shit goes down. You look down there, and you see a whole bunch of poison puddles, but we'll take care of that in a bit. And also, if you don't take care of that, uh, the boss room is gonna have poison puddles as well, and that's gonna be a real pain in the ass. But I'll show you guys how to take care of that. So when we fight the boss, we won't need to deal with the stupid poison puddle. And I feel like that's like what gets most people during this boss fight. Because uh, the boss fight itself is kind of annoying. But especially with that poison puddle on. Like if you don't take care of that shit. You, you touch the poison puddle a little bit. And then your character gets poisoned. Oh my god. <laughs> and then you, on top of that you're going to worry about the boss. God damn. God damn. So yeah I'll show you guys how to take care of all of that. <clears throat> and just in case I want to have antidote equipped just in case like I'm pretty sure like I won't get hit by any poison but in case I fuck up somewhere all right soldier just keep the pressure on break its stamina go ahead it's dead he's dead he is dead he's a goner Right here, don't rush for that guy key just yet. Watch on the side because there's another one right there. I don't know why when you shoot that one, this one just... It just knows like you're right there. So yeah, like if you're not in the dark realm, the only time it will spit like the poison... Like, not poison. The, the paralyzed puddle, it's um... Manually, like if it's initiating the attack of it. Which, it's random. It'll either try to grab you, attack you, or spit. <laughs> That's... A paralyzed puddle, or he'll try to throw rocks at you. All right, um, that's actually the boss room. I don't think you can drop down here without dying. I've never tried. I'm not gonna do it right now, but that's the boss room. I always like how these games you can see like the upcoming areas, and especially Dark Souls. In Dark Souls, you can see like. All the other areas. I know in Dark Souls One, if you go up to the Bell Tower, you can see um, you can see like Sense Fortress and stuff like that. Um, the woods. Oh, what the hell! I missed. Come on. So that's real cool. Counter bursts. My favorite move for from these snake ladies it's when they try to paralyze you you see their eyes glow and then you see them have that red aura for that burst attack counter burst that uh they also have another attack where they do a tail whip that one's the one i always um mess up countering because it just comes in real fast another one of these demon hunters just chilling on the side when there's a demon hunter in the middle of the map over there you know not hunting them just chilling right next to the box what y'all doing, man? What are y'all doing? Um, did I grab this? Okay. I did. All right. Next up is a wall here. He doesn't like the red. Does he like the? Nope. He doesn't like that either. Damn it. Yeah. Oh shit. Um. It seems like the whole gesture thing is also random as well. So, 
it, it was blue for me, but for those of you guys that are watching or following the guy, it's probably some other color. Or it could also be blue. I don't know. Okay. Sorry, that one this time. They're not like tough, it's just that they have a lot of health. And also if you screw up a dodge or a counter or whatnot, they also get failed, right? <laughs> but they're not like difficult. Alright, cool. So that's the way to go if you don't want to deal with um the wall, but it's it, le it leads to the same area, except if you deal with the wall, you get a little bit more pickups than when you choose to avoid it. Or if you choose to avoid it. Up to you. You don't have to take them on if you don't want to. You don't, like, there's no, um, <clears throat> there's no, like, super good item you get for killing it. Alright, just get, like, a gun, whatever. And also, we're, we're back in the center now. Like, we're back to where we... That's like the tree area with the snake lady. You know, if you didn't want to deal with the wall, you would have just came this way. Okay? So like I said, at least the same area. It's, just like, it's not like a whole big jump. Like, there's, you're not really skipping through much. But I wanted to come back here to deal with the snake lady. You shoot her down, you can run over and you can do a critical hit. I'll be careful. Ah, yeah. <laughs> when you, when she's getting back up, as uh, she has a wake up attack. So, watch out for that. And I want to top off my health because in Neo Two, these these normal enemies are are so crazy with their attacks. You don't have full health, they'll kill you. They'll kill you. All right. So we're here, that's the way to go, but if you turn over here to the left side, right here, there's a Kodama. Really well hidden, because this whole area is green, and then the Kodama is green. So really easy to miss. So that's our third one, um, we have three more. There's a monkey. I want to see if I can get the monkey. Oh, shit, well, I got the monkey. <laughs> I was trying to kill the Gaki first before pissing off the monkey, but beggars can be choosers. Oh shit! There we go. There's the first counter. Okay. Hit it here. He's almost dead. Yeah, these monkeys are not too tough. Alright, um, <clears throat> on the right side there's a sniper, one of these soldiers, so let's just flush him. There we go. Yeah, let me know if you guys, are, um, do you guys use the soul cores? Because I personally don't really use the soul cores. Um, yeah. There's an own sand right here, if you need it. Or if you just want to collect the trophy for rest, uh, resting on every onsen. Alright, cool. There's a Gaki down here. You can see him sleeping right there. You can drop down from here and, and then go... Like, go about that or... What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go around and watch out here. Don't rush this guy because there's one on the side. You see? I mean, you can rush this guy if you want. What the heck is <laughs> what's he doing? Are you trying to grab? Nice try. Alright, if you come up this way. 
Um, there's gonna be two humans over there, so I highly recommend you deal with them first before you move forward. There's an archer right there. Damn it! There we go. And then his buddy's gonna get alerted the moment you shoot him. Got a break, and he's dead. Cool. All right. Grab all the stuff that they dropped. Up there, there's a a demon hunter, or whatever you want to call it. Demon slayer, demon hunter, yokai hunter. I don't know. But yeah, <laughs> he's patrolling around here. Once again, not to out. Sorry about that. <laughs> I was scratching my neck, and then the moment I put down my hand, I slapped the freaking mic. I'm gonna have to edit that out. So if there's like a weird part where my voice gets cut, you know what's up. I accidentally hit the mic. <clears throat> but anyways, uh, right here, this is the door that was right next to the shrine. Alright, so if anything happens during like happens during your run right now, you can just go back to the shrine. I mean, you could reset it right now, but all these guys that we kill will come back alive. Just, just a little heads up. Um, there is gonna be another shrine. It's over there, but we have to go through a, a dark round for that. So I don't know if you guys want to rest right now or not. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait. Let's see if I can kill this guy. Right here. There we go. So he won't give us any grief when we're down there. That's the reason why I wanted to snipe him. That is a snake lady. Let's deal with the snake lady. Come on, use your... There we go. That was a tail attack. The way to... Oh shit, the way to tell which one she's gonna use is... Like if she glows red and her, her face is not glowing, then that means she's gonna tail, tail whip you. If you see her face glowing red as she glows red, then that means she's gonna try to paralyze you. So that's the ways to tell what she's gonna do. There is a scam puss here. Use him for a little bit of help. Can we kill him in one hit? Nope. <laughs> Alright. I mean, it was worth a try. Alright. This next part, we're gonna snipe this guy. One shot to the face, and he's dead. Alright. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna roll this way to that platform. So hopefully I don't get poisoned. There we go. See, almost got poisoned. And we got hung up on something where we would have gotten poisoned. But since we didn't, we didn't get poisoned. So that's good. <laughs> and there's a soldier right here. Oh shit. I saw that coming. I don't know why I couldn't dodge it in time. Grab. There we go. Now, these snake statues are what's causing the poison to be the poison puddle. So once you get rid of it, the poison puddle goes away. So, very important. Uh, this guy's usually not here. I'm just gonna take him out before the other guy comes in and throw him. Did I get him? All right, cool. Yeah, that's totally random. He's not always there. Goodbye. See ya. Alright, cool. Nice, nice, nice. <clears throat> Let's grab the stuff that's here. And also, I saw, um... One of those guys. I don't know what they're called, the poison versions. Oh 
Oh shit. Should have sniped this guy. Forgot he was even there. Nope. <laughs> Snap him before he hits you. Alright, these guys, best way to deal with them is bait them to do a melee attack and then. Oh, I fucked it up. I was gonna do my kick attack. You can, if you can manage to land a kick on their, um, their little orb thing, which is a skull. If you can manage to land the kick on the glowing skull, then you can like instantly stamina break them and land a critical hit. But you gotta make sure your first, like your katana swing doesn't hit. Like you gotta have to distant like gauge it so when you kick, it just kicks them. Like if you hit them while they're down with the katana, it'll just ruin the, it'll ruin the whole thing. Like you won't be able to pull that off with an instant stamina break. Uh, there's a Sudama right here. I'm gonna save it for the end, like right after we kill everything. Uh, I'm gonna see what items I have and I'll make the tray according to what I got. That's a, uh, shit, I can't remember. Oh, I think that's a Yoki, yeah. There's gonna be a snake lady right here. Let's take him up. Move. Counterverse. I knew it wasn't gonna be enough to break her stamp. That's why I didn't bother trying to. Down, I mean, critical order. I think these are the demon slayers, huh? Because judging by the mask, I just realized then. Like, this whole time I've been playing Neo, I didn't realize those were like a demon slayer people. Or well, this is just a soldier, but that one sitting there looks like a demon slayer. Because they got that, that whole mask thing going on. Interesting. And there's a reason why we came into this cave. Um, there's a one of those snake statues there. Alright. We're gonna need to destroy three of them. In order to get rid of all the poison puddles. Shit. You got me cornered. He's almost dead. There we go. Nice. All right. <laughs> Two of the gakis here. Snipe that one, and then I'm just gonna massacre this guy. Yeah. Because I didn't want to deal with two of them at the same time. I mean, they're weak, but you never know what can happen. Like if one of them ends up hitting me, and then like I get stun locked or whatever. And then the other one grabs me. Oh my god. Because their grab does damage. Like grabs and Neo too. Oh my god. Or grabs in general. I think it, it should apply to like all the games. That's like souls like. If you get grab, you're basically either gonna lose a, a lot of health or you're just screwed. It's one way or the other. <laughs> there's, there's, no, there's no in between. Another snake lady right there, but be careful because you can see there's one right above us. You sneaky son of a bitch. Alright, come here. I'm not I'm not about to fight you in a tight ass space when there's another one around. Good thing they like to do that whole paralyzed thing a lot. 
All right, now, now we're ready to fight this one. Oh, maybe not. Freaking poison puddle. No, 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 no. There we go. <sighs> Alright, so if you just walk in here and then the, like, without shooting that one, that one would just drop down on your ass with like a jump scare. I would know because that shit scared the shit out of me the first time when I played. I was just like, oh look, there's only one enemy right here and I walked over and that, that, that one on top just freaking popped down on me. Scared the living crap out of me. Alright, cool. Uh, well, we got five Kodamas now. Why do I snap them in the face before I actually fight them? Well, the reason for that is because I want to drop their stamina a little bit before I actually fight them. So, you know, <laughs> if I can whack them enough, I can just break the stamina without having to abuse the, the counter. Let's see if I can pull off that amazing kick to the skull thing to this thing again. It's kind of difficult. You gotta first gotta bait them and do the attack. You know, they don't want to cooperate. You're shooting those poison things all over the place. Come on. Stop. Ouch. Yeah, I messed up. And this is our final Kodama. So now we got all six. We just gotta clear the mission. Um. All right, you come here. Oh, cool. I ended up getting that thing on his head. One, two. Alright, I thought he was gonna do the burst attack and getting ready to burst counter him and turn into a demon to counter him. Watch that, get a few shots in, back away if you're behind him. Cause sometimes he'll do that scratch attack when you're like directly behind him, he'll try to scratch you. Grabs just back away a little bit. Alright. Wasn't too bad. That's the boss room. Um, There's a snake lady in here. So let's just go ahead and take care of that real quick. Okay. Did it, too, like, did it way too late. She already finished her attack. And I was, I was trying to counter her. Why didn't I shoot her in the head before I fight her this time? Because I forgot. <laughs> that's, that's, that's honestly the reason. And she's dead. Alright, cool. See, I don't know. It, it feels like it takes longer to fight her when you don't shoot them in the head. Like, right before engaging the fight. You interact with the store, it takes you to the boss, but before you do that, I highly recommend you don't do that just yet. Uh, you want to get this skill right here. Mind's Eye. Alright, this is really good. Because when you do a successful dodge, you will get an uh, attack boost for a short amount of time. And that attack boost does... Like, it boosts you up by a lot. So... Oh shit. It's worth... You know... Trying to get... Come on, do that melee attack. Hiya! Alright, I got it. Cool. 
I mean, it might, it might be a little bit tough to get used to it at first, but the the, the distant gauge. I'm pretty sure you guys will get the hang of it, assuming you are following this build. This next part, we're gonna have. Uh, it's one of those hammer guys with the with the one eye. These guys. Counterburst. Counterburst again. This guy's really cooperating this time. <laughs> Sometimes he'll just keep swinging at you and shit. But this time he just kept doing his burst attacks. He only has two. Like, the overhead and the grab. And that's all he's got. And the timing for, like, both of them are pretty much the same. So, yeah. That's, that's good for me. <laughs> got some arrows. Some ammunition, real good. Alright, let's try that again, Mr. Wall Guy. Do you like red? No, you don't like red. Alright, maybe I should have chose the other one. How about yellow? Alright, cool. If you see his eyes, like, not red anymore, then that means he accepted whatever the heck you did. But if you do your second gesture and its eyes are still red, get ready to dodge your block, because um, that means he's pissed off still. He was not content with the show. Alright, cool. That's the whole reason why we even came up here. Well, actually, before I forget, because I always forget about this pickup right here. Make sure you grab it. Some ammunition. You know, still good. Alright, here is the last shrine but you cannot access it right now because it's in the dark realm if you're trying to access it you'll say it seems like it has been defiled and it cannot be used all right are you the one defiling this shit stupid yoki motherfucker oh we broke his horn come here come here i'm talking do your do your burst no, no no do the burst attack Yeah. Alright, cool. Whole bunch of damage. Look at that. It just took out half of his health. Alright, cool. What you got? The combo swing attack. First attack again. I love it when they do the first attack. It's like Christmas. Alright. Next, where's the lady? Sweet, I got it. I can't believe I actually hit her in the face. I thought I was gonna miss because she was moving around. Oh, come here. Oh, that almost, I think that almost got me. That's not gonna hit. We come out of the dark realm. Stop, stop baiting me inside the dark realm. All right, check out the top. If I can land the damage on it. Oh shit! Not that! Not that! Ah, we should just let me hit you. Let me hit. You. Oh shit! Not the grab. Not the grab. God damn, she's so moves around too much in this one. There we go. Alright, cool. Once we break the... This thing. The Dark Realm should just disappear. Yep, that's what's keeping the Dark Realm, actually. Hit him once. 
Oh shit, be careful when he gets up. Because that's a, that's a awakening attack right there. Got him. I saw you throwing stuff at me. I saw you. Alright, and this is pretty much it. So we took care of um, the three statues. So now when we go into the boss realm, or boss realm, boss room, um, there should be no poison puddles. And we just got some purple item, so it should be pretty high level. And here's a Sudama. Level 21. Can we get lucky? Can we get lucky and get a dual blade? Or dual katanas. Holy shit, we actually got one. Oh my god. I can never get one before. I mean, the color is a little bit ugly, but I'll take it. <laughs> Um, can we get a better one? Let's see. Let's see. Like, I, I've only gotten, I'm gonna tell you guys this, I only got this, like, dual katanas once. Not, not, not counting this one. Like, on my own playthrough, I only got it once. Never, never again until now. Two for two? Two for two? <laughs> Guess it's too good to be true. All right, so yeah, I, I mean at least we got one All right, so we're gonna do a little bit of leveling up and then we'll call it a run and next episode We'll be taking on the boss of this area Which should be lots of fun All right so yep, yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for this episode. So I thank you all so very much for watching. Hopefully this video has been entertaining, or helpful, or enjoyable. And if you all found at least one of those qualities in this video, then hey, stay tuned for more. But until next time, I hope to catch y'all later. Homes, out.